Yeah, we're talking about Farmers Feeding Cities. Uh, Jenny Van Roy is here, uh, the campaign Thank coordinator. You. How are you? Good to have you back. Thanks for having us. Also, farmer, local farmer, Aaron Leduc is here. Yeah. Aaron's not your typical farmer, really. The typical farmer is who? A 56-year-old male. That you are not. That's true. <laughs> How long have you been farming? About, well, I've been a farmer my whole life. Because a family farm, right? It's a family farm, that's right. So I grew up on the farm, and I've always been exposed to it. Yeah. But I've been in the business for the past four years now. Yeah, yeah. When did you, uh, like, you know, a lot of people who grow up on farms don't end up on farms, but you decided that's what you wanted to do. Right, well, after I got my education, I had the opportunity to come back and use yeah. the skills that I got in school and work as a grain merchandiser and seed salesperson yeah. on the farm. You must have found the results of this survey pretty interesting, being a farmer yourself, mm -hmm. not only those in the farming um, industry, yeah. but the, uh, lo local farmers themselves. I uh, got to see the results of, uh, uh, did you guys do the, the survey yourselves? Yeah, yeah. Every year we do a different survey just asking Canadians questions about food and farming and, and where their food comes from. Canadians are more interested in buying local, 86%, than organic, 29%. Mm -hmm. Problem is, we don't often know what the local is. Exactly. And with, in terms of organic food, with 70% of organic food in our grocery stores being imported, yeah. that often makes a choice to buy local a little what's bit more. What's the best way to find out what's local and what's not? Read the Look label? Look on the labels, ask your grocer. Yeah. We were talking about this before. I bug my grocer all the time. He sees me coming <laughs> from a mile away, but that's what everyone needs to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Not at There's all. nothing wrong with yeah. asking questions because I'm sure as a local farmer, you would like to see local people buy your products. Definitely, but I want to clarify that the corn that I grow, something like this, is not something that you're going to buy the grocery store yeah, we're not, actually eat. We're not going to actually eat this because no. it's you, the corn you grow is for different things. Yeah, we use it for ethanol production, feed. It is found in a lot of the, the food products that you might find. Even Although we might processed. not know it. Processed. Yeah, <laughs> it's, exactly. it's in something like toothpaste or gum. So you're yes, actually really? using Syrup, yeah. Aaron's products every day. This corn, you're is that, you brush your teeth this morning. Yeah, is that and that's a different kind of farming. Do you do like are there things that we consume? Or corn eat? flakes. Yeah. That, or, or other things that you grow that we would might consume um, in another way? Most likely we grow wheat, so it's definitely maybe come up in your bread or... Is that lucrative? Bread. Like, is it a good business? Do you know what I mean? Like, to grow keeping, corn like this? Yeah, we're keeping afloat as it stands right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a business. Make it's very competitive. competitive. A few we're, bucks not here and there. we're not gardening. I guess the <laughs> point is you can, you can find locally grown products in a number of things, and mm -hmm. you may not be able to discover that it is, mm -hmm. in fact, local. However... If you do take time to read the labels and ask some questions, yeah. you can find the stuff that's that's grown and whatever you consider to be local. Of course, and it's something that we found with this study. An overwhelming percentage of Canadians said it was so important for them to have food choices and to yeah. be able. And we're so lucky in Canada, but we what we urge people is to have informed food choices. Well, I mean, here's here's uh, something I read this morning uh, that I didn't know. Eighty-one percent of Canadians that typically buy free-run eggs believe that eggs classified as free run means the chickens have access to the outdoors. Not so, my friends. <laughs> free run eggs means the chickens are free to run within an enclosed space, usually they don't indoors. Go ever. So these people that are buying these eggs, they're they're buying them thinking that these chickens have access to the outdoors. It, you know, both eggs are nutritionally the same value. Both both hens are, are treated Depends the same way. Depends on how you feel about the chickens. It's just, however, it's your personal choice, right? Both are the same nutritional value, but consumers are buying these eggs thinking that the hens have access to the outdoors. Free range ones it sounds have like access they, to the outdoors. Yes, yes. Free run not doesn't. Not the chickens that are in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'd say in prison. The ones right. <laughs> They wouldn't and, want to go outside on a day like this anyways. Yeah, I guess the point is we can find like even even eggs, even uh, poultry, even meats of various kinds. Mm -hmm. There's so much grown locally. Milk. Yeah, yeah. milk, exactly. And, uh, and a lot of the milk, we, the way it's yeah, done, we Yeah, food milk up... in Canada, you can buy it and you can be sure that it's Canadian milk. Do you guys have a lot of information for people like that, like FarmersFeedCities.com? Yeah, yeah, on our website there, especially through our Twitter and our Facebook, that's an ongoing conversation. If you ever have questions for farmers, um, specifically an ain a grain farmer like Erin, right. um, I think you guys have our Twitter information. You can put that up yeah. and ask her a question directly about grains or, you know, at, it's an ongoing conversation. At Farms Feed Cities. Yes. I'm going I'm to follow you on Twitter. Ask us lots of questions. And what's yours at? Want to make it farm. Want to make it? Farm. Farm. That's Where's farm. your farm, by the way? It's just located east of Ottawa, about 45 minutes in the town of Moose Creek. Oh, yeah, Moose Creek? Yeah. Nice. Can I come visit your farm someday? Anytime. <laughs>
I like the whole idea. 